I'm excited to announce the expansion of the JW Autoshine business is now open. Situated in Cowles on the Isle of Wight, this is a dedicated detailing facility concentrating on paint correction, ceramic coating installs, and in the very near future, CarPro PPF installs. The new facility has been built from the ground up with ceramic heating, a built-in purified water system, all inside an energy efficient building, lowering the company's carbon footprint by 50%. For all your car details, Detailing needs, check out JW Autoshine, link is in the description. So what we're we working with on spec list, because of course this isn't a factory car, it's running a 1.7 litre Puma engine from a Ford Puma that has been swapped into it, but it is running a T28 turbocharger, running around five PSI, again, because we are uh, working with a car without ECUs, without you know crazy modifications being done to the engine. Making sure nothing bends is key here, but also running more power is key. So you're looking at about 180 to 200 brake horsepower. Now, the owner is going to map this if it is mapped and it is going on the garage's dyno hopefully it does one day we will capture that and see what the numbers are like but there is an evolution of this car this is the first iteration of it i want to get it on the channel today to show you guys what it's like to drive spec list and we will follow this car as it evolves and hopefully we can shoot it again once it gets to a more powerful state so it's got a custom stainless steel turbo back exhaust system of course running from that turbocharger under 1.7 litre Puma engine with a Piper back box. So you still get all of those great pops and bangs that you would from a naturally aspirated ZTEC S or Puma engine. And I like that. I like that it's kept and retained some naturally aspirated flavour in there. It isn't been dulled down by that turbocharger. It can't not hear what's going on in this car. You've got a Mishimoto intercooler, a CG Motorsport 385 Super Sport clutch. Quite easy to stall. Um, you have to get used to this, if I'm honest. It's one of those cars you have to get used to because you don't necessarily jump in this and think it's going to be like that. But of course, you need that if you're running more power. It's also running a Cytec fuel pressure regulator these fantastic looking Sparco 16 inch wheels <laughs> now on the open road as the window goes up what's it like to drive of course we've seen some mad intro of things happening listen to the exhaust let's just get it right ready for it there it is <laughs> charging one of these puma lumps <laughs> but the outside i tell you it doesn't need to be 400 million brake horsepower it doesn't need that it doesn't need to be fire spitting down the road this thing just it actually feels really right at let's say 200 horsepower 
ballpark 200 horsepower. It does feel right. There's something about this that just a little bit more power than maybe the ZTEC S from this era needed. It was very revvy with the normal engine, with the Puma engine, you know, fantastically revvy. You whip a turbocharger on there, run a bit of power, and I'll tell you, that is a well-sorted power band, a well-sorted feeling car as well. It feels good, 94,000 miles on this one. ST150 brakes up front, providing a little bit of a better stopping power than you would have got from your ZTEC S. <laughs> restocked two air fresheners the og air fresheners on the fyd apparel website link is in the description these both are available to buy support the channel fyd link is in the description let's get back in the car yeah, it sounds pretty standard if i'm honest far from exhaust right first gear clutch it's all right you get used to it if i'm honest you do get really used to it one of the things that i don't see many z tech s's these days a lot of owners of these cars have migrated into maybe newer versions of the Fiesta platform and it's one of those builds that is something everybody wanted to do back in the day well in my opinion I would always wanted to uh, turbocharge an actually aspirated little hatchback like this Droney, but maybe I'm old and I can hear it a lot more than I can hear turbocharger. That isn't a bad thing because it sounds and then feels naturally aspirated. It feels like you're not going to hear a turbocharger. You look outside, you can't really see, you know, the biggest intercooler in front of it. Yes, you can see a little bit of piping and stuff. Clutch, I mean, the clutch, it's actually usable. It's as a car, it still feels like a Puma swapped ZTEC S. It's nothing two out of the ordinary, which I quite like. I quite like that when you do put your foot down, there it is. <laughs> it will still break traction up the front end. It will still throw the car around a little bit. Now, the best thing about this car and why I'm shooting it today more than anything is because this car is currently under a build. It's in build process. And I wanted to get it today as is with the T28 turbocharger and you know the various things on it because it's going to evolve this car. The owner is going to put an LSD in it. He's gonna put a decompression plate in it, run a little bit more power. It is gonna get maybe a piggyback or a standalone ECU at one point, and we will come and revisit this car because I think that's the best way to enjoy a car like this. Today, I'm enjoying it down one of my favorite roads, and I get it as is. It is a great way to turbocharge the Puma Lump and get some you know, relatively good power out of it without going crazy on the budget, standalone ECUs, you know, forging engines and stuff. It feels quite right as it is. Third gear, even on third gear. <laughs> I am hugely impressed with this car. I think it drives and just the way it is, considering it's a turbocharged lump that's been put in a car, it's been done right. No crazy mapping, no crazy forging as I've already said, no big turbos, no fire breathing out the bonnet craziness. It actually feels like it's set up for road racing. That sounds weird. It feels like something you can, which is what I'm doing right now, short shift through corners, brake with those good brakes at front, change down into third, roll on in, there's a bit of power there. I don't know mate, it's, it's actually, as is, a really nice car to drive. I appreciate that there's more power that can be made out of this and I appreciate that there's more everything that can be made, but as is, I'm hugely impressed with this, I really like it. It's just right, you know, like 
the 200 horsepowers from this era right like the Civic Type R when it came out was right maybe even a 182 or a 197 Clio they just feel so right yes with a couple of mods exhaust various other bits and bobs but I don't know mate to me it feels pretty nice in here and as we calm down into a town full of traffic I want to share a bit of a, a backstory of this car so the owner now bought it off family member that had turbocharged it and it's been turbocharged for a very long time in this exact state which is really cool but the funny thing is and it's dl plate now dl is isle of white registered and jw jason from jw Autoshine, was actually working at ford when this car came out so it was probably pdi'd and actually sold through jason's department at the time how hilarious is that so if we went back and we you know tried to go back through the records and that Jason probably had hands on this, if not sold it, to the original owner. How cool is that? That's just a cool little bit of the story, I reckon. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did like it, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and we will follow this build when there is a big change to it, maybe more power, maybe LSD, maybe bits and bobs change, we will come back to it. Remember, FYD Apparel, link is in the description to grab your air fresheners. I'll see you all on the next one.